Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up Magento server on Ubuntu hosted on AWS. So simply click the link in the description box for the AWS Marketplace listing and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine. So for that, simply click on continue to subscribe. And then from this page, you need to accept the terms. So click on accept terms and then simply wait for the validation process to complete. After your subscription has been validated, simply click on continue to configuration and then choose the AMI software version and choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed and then click on continue to launch and then you can launch the virtual machine from either the website or from the EC2 management console. What I like to do is that I want EC2 management console so I change this from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this opens up the EC2 management console in a new tab and in here I can customize my virtual machine. So I am going to give it some name, scroll down and make sure that the image selected is the Cloud Infrastructure Services Magento Server. Scroll down, choose the instance type, choose the key pair. You can create a new key pair or you can choose an already existing one. Scroll down even more, choose the setting that you want and when you are completely satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. And then you would have to wait for the instance to be deployed on the region that you have selected. After that, simply click on view all instances. Now as you can see that. This is our virtual machine that has been just deployed and it is still in the pending state. So simply wait for a few moments for it to change its state from pending to running. So now we can connect to this virtual machine using the public IPv4 address. So simply click on it, copy this address, open up a new tab, paste the address and hit enter. So as you can see that Apache is running on our virtual machine and we only need to configure and install Magento. So head back to EC2 management console. From here, right click on your virtual machine and click on connect and then copy this whole command, either open up a new command prompt or a powershell, paste this command and replace the key within the quotation marks for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path to the private key, simply hit enter and when prompted, type in yes and hit enter. Now you would be able to connect to your virtual machine using the SSH terminal. Now the next step is to go through the setup process of Magento server. So for that, click the link in the description box, which would take you to the blog post which contains a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Magento Server. Now we will be using this blog post to copy the commands and run them in our SSL terminal. So as you can see that the very first step is to create a MySQL database and to configure it. So for that, simply copy this command which is the sudo mice SQL secure installation and paste it inside the SSL terminal and hit enter. It is asking us for the current password and the current password for root is completely blank so simply hit enter and change the password to something else. Re-enter the password and confirm the new password. And then simply go along with the configuration of MySQL. After that, you want to create a new database for Magento, a new user for Magento and secure it with a password. So go back to the blog post, copy all of these commands and as you can see that this is our user, this is our database and this is the password. So if you want to change any of these things, so simply change them and then paste them inside the SSH terminal and hit enter. And just like that, we were able to create our database, database user and our authentication password. So the next step is to get the Magento 2 access keys. So go back into the description and follow the link to adobe.magento. From here, you want to log in as a user or sign up as a new user. And then from the Magento's page, you want to click on this drop down icon and choose my profile. And then you want to click on access keys. Here you can either use the already existing keys or create a new key access. So you can see that there are two keys, public key and the private key. The public key is for the username and the private key is for the password or the authentication. So the next step is that we want to configure the default file. So head back to the blog post and from here open up the triple zero default configuration file. So copy this command, head back to the command prompt and paste the command and then hit enter. Now in here. You want to copy all of these commands and paste them inside that configuration file. So I am going to come right over here, delete this document root entry. By the way, if you want to insert or delete something, you would have to type in the character I and then paste my commands. And then to save the file, first click escape and then type in a colon and then type in WQ and an exclamation mark and hit enter. Now this should save that triple zero default configuration file. Next up, you want to write the command sudo a2en mod rewrite and then you want to type in the command sudo 
system ctl restart apache 2 next up you want to configure the php.ini file so go back to the blog post copy the path to the php.ini file come back to the command prompt paste it and hit enter and then in this file you want to make sure that some of the statements are set to some specific values so first of all we want to check for file uploads now this is a very long file it contains around 2000 lines so going through it and searching for a particular statement is very hard so we are going to use the search option simply press ctrl w to bring up this search bar and in here you can type in file underscore uploads and hit enter so make sure that the file upload is set to on again ctrl w to search and then search for allow underscore url underscore f open make sure it is also turned on then search for short open tags and make sure that the default value is set to on next up you want to search for memory limit make sure that the memory limit is set to 256 m and not 128 so i'm going to change it to 256 m next up what you want to search for is upload underscore max underscore file size make sure that the maximum upload file size is set to 100 next up what you want to search for is max execution time make sure it is set to 360 and lastly you want to search for date dot time zone now generally you would put your time zone over here but for the sake of this tutorial i am going to put in america and then for the region i am going to say chicago now i want to save this file with the command ctrl o hit enter and ctrl x to exit the file Next up what we want to do is that we want to restart the service of Apache so type in the command sudo systemctl restart apache2. Next up we want to download the Magento into Apache vhost directory. So the very first thing is that we want to move inside that directory so cd forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html and hit enter. Now to download the Magento 2 go back to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside your command prompt and when prompted to run this as the super user simply type yes and hit enter now it is going to ask you for the authentication for magento so go back to magento page copy the public key and paste it into the command prompt and hit enter and for the password copy the private key and paste it into the command prompt and hit enter after that it is going to ask you to save the credentials so type in yes or y and hit enter and then you would have to wait for the Magento to be downloaded into the Apache vhost directory. And then for every prompt, simply type in yes and hit enter. After your Magento has been downloaded, you want to give some folder permissions to that Magento folder. So head back to the blog post, copy all of these commands and paste them inside the command prompt. And then simply hit enter for the last command. Now what you want to do is that you want to restart the Elasticsearch service. Sometimes it is stopped and sometimes you just need to enable it. So the command is sudo systemctl start Elasticsearch and hit enter. And then you want to type in the other command which is the sudo systemctl enable Elasticsearch and hit enter. After that you want to move on to the installation process of Magento. So this is a little tricky. So head back to the blog post. Now as you can see in these lines that it is asking us for the URL of my website, the DB username, the DB password, the admin username and the admin password. So what I am going to do is that I am only going to copy the first two lines and paste them inside my SSH terminal. And for the URL I am going to change it to the IP address of my virtual machine. Now to get this IP address I am simply going to go over to my EC2 management console Go back one step, click on my virtual machine and copy the public IPv4 address. And then I'm going to paste that address over here. And then I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to come back to my blog post and copy the lines from line number 3 to this line which says the DB password. And then I'm going to change my password to your password. Now if you're confused where this password came from, I'm going to go back to my blog post, scroll up. You can see that when we were configuring our MySQL database, we created a database with this particular password. So this is the password that we are using while installing our Magento. After that, I am going to simply copy all of the lines and paste them in my SSH terminal. And by the way, this would be the username for my admin and this would be the password for my admin. So if you want to change them, simply change them and paste them inside the SSH terminal. And lastly, you simply have to hit enter and wait for the installation process to complete. And then 
Once the installation is done, you want to set up cron job. So the command is sudo bin forward slash magento space cron colon install. After the cron tab has been installed, you can move on to the next step which is to open up your virtual machine's IP address. So I'm going to come to this page and refresh it. And this time around, I would be able to open up my home page for Luma. Now to go to the Magento dashboard, I need to open up my SSS terminal. And as you can see that there is this particular admin URL. So I'm going to copy this URL and paste it right after my IP address of the virtual machine. And I'm going to hit enter. Now this should take me to the admin console or the admin dashboard for Magento. And then it is asking us for the authentication. So the username by default was admin. You have to put in the username and the password that you have selected while installing Magento. And by default, the password was admin123 and then hit sign in. By the way, you might get this error, which is the two factor authorization error. So there are two ways to work around this error. One is to disable the two factor authorization and the other is to fulfill the two factor authorization by setting up an authenticator on my mobile phone. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm simply going to disable this two factor authorization. So I'm going to go back to my blog post, scroll down and I'm going to copy this PHP command paste it inside my SSH terminal and hit enter. Now this should disable my two-factor authorization. So the next step would be to refresh my page. So as you can see, after refreshing the page, it logged me into the dashboard. That is because we had already given it the username and the password for the admin account. So simply click on allow and you're done. Your Magento 2 store is up and running on your AWS virtual machine. So that brings us to the end of this video. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for AWS marketplace listing and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide and for the link to Magento's website to get the access keys. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.